Hello, everybody. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. Multiple baby stories to get to. First being Claire Crowley has baby girl. And Sarah Heron is pregnant with twins. Let's dive right into this. Very excited for Claire. As we've known, she's been uh, pregnant via surrogate and now announces the baby girl's name. Bachelorette's Claire Crowley reveals the name of her and husband Ryan Dawkins' baby girl. Welcome to the world, Rowan Lily Dawkins. January 15th, 24. Six pounds, 10 ounces, says Claire Crowley, 42. Caption an Instagram video on Tuesday, January 16th, one day after she and Dawkins welcomed their baby girl via surrogate. I prayed for you my entire life, and, that, and to finally hold you in our arms is nothing short of a miracle and a dream come true. All right, so let's go to that clip. Here it is, folks. And again, very lovely, beautiful reveal. Oh, uh, cute as a button. Very nice there. A little stuffed bunny, as it were. That's the music. I can't play the music there, but Tasha says, OMG, Claire, congrats. Ashley Iconetti said, she's so gorgeous. Congrats to you and Ryan. Michael A says, amazing. She's beautiful, Claire. And everyone, and everyone, and everyone. Very happy for Claire Crowley, of course. We met Claire. Well, she was already uh, you know, on what, Juan Pablo season of The Bachelor. Do I have that right? But, of course, um, we got to know her in my community while covering her as The Bachelorette, choosing Dale Moss didn't end storybook style. Well, maybe it was storybook for The Bachelor since none of those relationships work out. But it led her to Ryan Dawkins, a non-influencer CEO type, which I think everyone wants. Don't marry someone with a headshot, they like to say. Sheena Shea responds, she's precious, OMG, congrats. So uh, very happy to share all of the love that's pouring out within the Bachelor community. In other news, and we're going to get to this other story here, we've got um, Bachelor Sarah Heron, am I pronouncing that right? Pregnant, expecting twins with husband Dylan Brown after losing son. Sarah Heron announces that she and her husband Dylan are expecting rainbow twins after losing their son Oliver in January of 2023. Appointment today went well. The babies are growing on track. Next appointment in three weeks, Heron37 wrote via her Instagram story on Tuesday. The babies look so round in chubs, little roly polies. And we'll show you what she's talking about. Um, oh, do I not have a, I might not have a photo of it. Uh, but uh, here she is, uh, you know, uh, sharing some of the loss. Very sad story last year. She posted this a whole year ago. It's been a month since Oliver was born. This is him. This is his sweet little face, perfect and covered in bright blonde peach fuzz. All two pounds of him. I'm not sure how to summarize the last month or how we've managed to survive. It's required a certain type of wintering that only a grieving mother knows. But somehow we're here. What I hate is that as more time separates us from the night we met Oliver, sometimes I can't distinguish if the last month has been a nightmare or if my pregnancy was all a dream. And as each new day brings increments of space and healing, I am gutted that we are moving back in a direction of life that physically looks like the one we lived before Oliver. My body is healing, yet I remain in maternity genes, a paradox of relief and grief at the same time. Although it's still snowing, spring is peeking its way through and I am not ready. The minutes of daylight gained each night is an insulting reminder that life carries on, despite my grief still being held in January. I don't want the snow to melt or the trees to bud. I want to winter with Oliver forever. Very, very touching stuff here. Again, this is last year's post after she lost her son Oliver. And a year later, she gets to share in the love uh, and sort of, um, you know, journey of being pregnant again. Um, so let's see if there's anything baby related in her Instagram post. Dog last week. Fear not. We're back with another farmer's dog. Right, Rio? So she's doing some influencer posts. Which if you, you guys haven't do. seen me. You know, you got to be able to afford these Rio. babies. You can All right. See. So just influencer posts, but good for her. I mean, she's pretty far removed from The Bachelor and recognized as Sarah from The Bachelor. I guess she's not that far removed. She was on Bachelor in Paradise, what, three years ago, something like that. Either way, we're very happy for her and her family and also for Claire and Claire's family. 
And uh, those are your baby updates. Uh, we'll have some more stories today, uh, but I didn't want to not shout those out. I mean, we followed Claire for so long, you know, if you guys know my channel, our channel essentially took off um, right as Claire took off. And as Claire's relationship ended, our channel really took off. Um, I don't say that with any amount of joy. It just goes to show that when relationships are happy, fans are happy. But when relationships end, fans run to YouTube. And in this case, I hope fans appreciate Claire finding that joy and that happiness in her life. We're very happy for her. Oh, I'm going to have to get a, you know, an extra baby uh, uh, car seat for all these driving with Dave's I'm going to be doing. We'll just have a bunch of babies in the background. Maybe we'll do playpens with Dave. We'll all just go in a playpen and get in a ball pit. All right, folks, we'll have more content for you coming right back. I'll be on Bachelor Rush Hour this afternoon. All that and more right after this. <laughs> 